Uh, welcome back once again. Now, uh, we will be going through the different workspaces that you can have in CFD Trader 2. Now, the difference between CFD Trader 2 and CFD Trader 1 is that uh, the workspace that you can s that you see over here, the interface that is, is pretty much customizable. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, we have seen how each window can be customized uh, through the different uh, buttons over here, but uh, it is even more customizable uh, as each window can be used and placed anywhere within the interface. Now, for example, over here we have the basic interface layout, which you can find under the view menu button. We have the basic and advanced, which have been preset into the program itself. Now, if you take a look at the advanced workspace, it is slightly different. We have our price list view, price chart, or rather our watch list on the top left side followed by the contract explorer right here we have the order status charting of a counter followed by the account management window well all, can all that you see here can be customized as well I, I have a few different layouts which i can show you uh, just to give you an example of the possibilities that you could have we have one which is i call the one counter where you will have your watch list over here, the market depth of a particular counter right here, followed by the chart of that counter right here, and of course the order status right at the bottom. One more I could show you is the market depth workspace, where you can have all the different market depth of current watch list, followed by the order status. Another one that we I can show you is the trading from chart workspace where you have different types of charts all around where you can use these charts to trade as well if we have uh, some of you who would like to trade from the charts you could use this interface right here now moving on let us show you let me show you how we can make a particular workspace uh, from say the basic workspace let us move on to the basic workspace now let's try to mimic uh, the one counter workspace first let's uh, revert to our basic workspace which we can see over here all right now what we want is uh, we would like to have uh, one counter where we can see the at market depth uh, your account management, your order status, your contract explorer, and your watch list all in one go. Now, how do we do this? Well, it's easy enough. You go to file and say you create a new workspace. Now, over here, you can create one from basic workspace, from advanced workspace, or from a current workspace. Now, I have here, as mentioned, uh, the few workspaces that you have seen previously, but let's create one from the basic workspace. All right, now we have one over here. Okay, let's um, let's look at our graphs. Now, oh, to enable our graphs, we just have to right-click on a particular counter, just like that, and go to charting. And there we go, we have our graphs. Let's place it somewhere towards the left here, right at the bottom. Right there. Yeah. You can also just minimize this slightly. You see it right here. And a market depth. Let's see the market depth of this counter. Place it right here. There you go. We have, of course, the order status, which we can place right here. And, of course, we have finally the account management window, which can be found right here. So, once you open it, what you have to do is place it right here. There you go, resize it a little bit. And there we have it. So, 
after creating that, how do you basically save them? Go to file and save as a workspace and you can name it, say any name you want. I can call it my workspace right here. My workspace number one and click OK. And once it's safe, it will pretty much stay like this. So what happens if you want to open up this current workspace? All you have to do is go to file, open, and you will see your workspace right here, workspace number one. All right. So that is how you create a workspace. Now, once again, um, if you would like to change any part of the workspace, uh, we have gone through this earlier, but let's just go through once again. You can go through the options in under the file menu, go through your workspace, and if you like to rename this particular workspace, you can just highlight it, rename it, say, best workspace. Once you rename it, you it should be renamed space, best workspace. What happens if you would like to remove it? So it's as easy as going over once again to the options menu. Click on your best workspace and delete it off the chart. And you can delete any one of the workspace over here. Also, Save Literature 2 allows you to auto save your workspace. All you have to do is check this little box over here and denote the time period which you would like the autosave function to save your workspace for you. Over here, you can also autosave your workspace upon exit, so you could have it open just the way you like it. Now, why is there a tick over here? It basically allows you to open a particular workspace immediately when you start up the program. So, in the event that, in the example, uh, on the example of that, I would like to open the order types workspace when I launch the program, I'll just put a tick over here. Now if you'd like to launch all of the workspaces, all you have to do is check all of the boxes over here and once you launch the program, it would launch all of these workspaces. All right, so that is it for workspaces. I will see you next in the next video.